Hi, I'm Gizzy Erskine. Now, with so many of us having hectic lives, too many of us are missing out on our lunch breaks. So it's my mission to bring back Britain's lunch hour. I've been working with Monster and I've devised some really delicious recipes that are guaranteed to fill you up all afternoon. Now, the perfect filling lunch has got to be my pancetta, farro and bean soup. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what farro is, it's spelt, so it's a bit like barley and it's really low GI and it's going to keep you really full and just on it throughout the rest of the afternoon. Now, I haven't actually put any oil or fat into the pan and that's because the pancetta has so much anyway. So if that is not the most delicious, nutritious lunch, then I don't know what is. One of my favourite lunches in the universe is a rare roast beef salad and beef goes with nothing else better in the world than horseradish, watercress and radishes. So I've made the most scrumptious salad, which is basically a potato salad with loads of those ingredients in it. You can have some rare beef that you've got left over from your Sunday lunch. I've just fried a steak up here and had that in the freezer for a little while. And there we are, the most delicious rare beef, radish and watercress salad. Life is not worth living if it doesn't have cheese and pastry in it. And that is what has created one of my favourite tarts, which is a courgette ribbon, goat's cheese and pine nut tart. Courgette ribbon. So this is quite a novel idea, I suppose. So I've just topped and tailed this courgette. I'm just going to go around the whole courgette. Doing it the night before work is perfect. So you let it cool. In the morning, you take a nice big wedge of it. And isn't that the perfect lunch? One of my favourite lunches is the most delicious Italian tuna caponata salad with loads of rocket. I think it's a real shame how most of us in this country see tuna as that stuff you get out of the tin. When if you went over to the Mediterranean, you'd get that, but you'd also get the proper stuff. And there's no reason nowadays why we can't make our own lunches with real tuna. So I think we can safely say that that is the Mediterranean on a plate. So many people find sandwiches boring, and that's because, to be honest, they can be. But they don't have to be. If you were to fill them with just really exciting ingredients, maybe use a different type of bread. I mean, for example, my favourite has to have some smoked salmon in there. Massive fan of the avocado, and if it's dripping with some gooey brie, that's got to be a winner. And I'm not a big fan of really stodgy, wheaty breads. I love a really delicious rye bread that's filled with seeds. Also, you're guaranteed to have yourself filled up all afternoon. I'm Gizzy Erskine, and all the recipes you've seen here are perfect for you to go and reclaim your lunch break. And they're all available at bbblh.co.uk.